And when you tell her wrong, she gonna show you right, make you remember she's preferred. Don't be no fuss or fight, she's going out tonight, she's gonna make you eat those words, she's gonna run. Can you calm down, sit the, sit the fuck down and calm up, like chill, just chill. Calm down? How the fuck am I supposed to calm the fuck down? My fucking bitch is in the hospital with a broken leg. I don't even feel bad for you. Like you always mixed up in some street shit, son. If I knew you was gonna get a loan from this nigga, I would've told you, son, don't fucking do it. Like you know him, like. At the end of the day, bro, what's done is done. Like it's, I can't take it back. And now I got 24 hours to get him his fucking money. All right, so you're going to pay him his bread, right? When are you going to get tired of being caught up in some bullshit? Like, when? When? You done preaching? You finished? I got to go fucking pick Stacy up in a couple of hours from the hospital. I got to figure out a fucking solution before she gets here. I don't have 50 racks stashed away in a fucking shoebox. I got, f I could give you five racks and that's how my savings and on some real shit, son. Yo, I want my money. I really want my money back. If you lend it to me, my nigga, you already know I got you. I promise you I'm going to give you your money back. But I still got to find a way to come up with the other 30 racks. Well, you might as well go to 125th Street and sell some ass. Pussy, dick, whatever. Just go. You're going to have to figure that out. Fuck you. But you could do me a favor, though. You might not want to do it. <laughs> you already know. I need you to I need you to head her up. Like, you might have to do something strange for a piece of change, but I need you to make that call. So it's okay for me to be a prostitute, cause you know I'ma have to fuck up, and I'm not, I'm not with the shit, son. I'm really not. Yo, I'm your best friend, bro. I'm in a fucking bind. Yo, don't do that. Anything you already know. When anything pop off with you, I'm always there. Like, it's, it's no question, no hesitation. I need you to do this for me, bro. I need you to do this for me. This nigga is hurting people. I love. I need you to do this for me. And I do shit. All right. For you, bro. You got the money. I appreciate you. I really do, I really appreciate you. Thank you, bro. You're saving my life. You're saving my life right now. But still trying to figure out if I should let Stacy know it's my fault. Don't, Don't tell, tell her. She a Brooklyn girl. Says she a Brooklyn girl. She a Brooklyn girl, she from Brooklyn. She a Brooklyn girl, she from Brooklyn. Says she a Brooklyn girl, she from Brooklyn. She a Brooklyn girl, she from Brooklyn. Says she a Brooklyn girl, she from Brooklyn. She a Brooklyn girl, she from Brooklyn. Says she a Brooklyn girl, she from Brooklyn. She a Brooklyn girl, she from Brooklyn. Says she a Brooklyn girl. She a Brooklyn girl, she from Brooklyn. Says she a Brooklyn girl, she from Brooklyn. She a Brooklyn girl. Hey, well, you know, just, can I put your back? No, I think I can manage. Don't worry about it, I got you. I'm doing the good one. My name is Joanna. I'm Justin. Nice to meet you. Don't worry about it, I got you. Yeah. You think you can carry your time? I'm not even I got you. Don't worry about it. See, you got a big living room. That's cool. Yeah, yours isn't the same size. No, I got a studio apartment, so your yeah. living room is the size of my place. For real. Okay. That's it. So you do modeling? I'll pick the backdrop you got right here. That's cool. I mean, I used to model, but I'm more into photography now. Okay, you know, so you might have to take my photo sometime. Because, you know, I'm trying to get into a modeling thing too now, you know? Oh, okay. Right. I'm serious. What are we joking about that for? Okay, what, what else? What else do you want? Nothing. I got want something else for. Guys always want something else. I don't know what kind of dudes you really talking about <laughs> like that, but you know, I don't want nothing else. You got all the pickup lines, don't you? I ain't got no pickup lines. Yeah, okay. I'm telling you, but I mean, I got to go, so let me see your phone real quick. My phone. Yeah, let me see your phone. I'm going to put my number in here. Okay. And then you can me up whenever you want, if you want. 
Right. Don't expect a call from me. That's all right. There you go. Bye, Mr. Rob. Rob. This is your apartment. <laughs>
why you brought me here. You should have just took me home. Nobody wants to be here. You have no elevator where you live at. How the fuck you gonna get up and down the stairs? Like, I, you need, you need me. You need me. I don't need you for shit. I could have fucking got up the stairs. I could have went to my mother's house. I could have did anything other than be here with you. This is stupid. Your mother got stairs too. That's number one. And number two, at least I'm here to take care of you. But regardless of the whatever we're going through personally, like you're hurt, I love you, and I don't want to see like this. Uh, I'm here all that. I have mad shit that I have to do in my fucking life, and I'm stuck here with a fucking broken ankle with you of all people. You don't really gotta be here with me if you don't want to. At least, at least stay until you're on crutches. Then you can go. Like you don't really have to fully recover. But I'm did you see who hit you though? I already told you I didn't see who hit me. The guy or the lady or whoever, the alleged hit person, the person who hit me was fucking just driving crazy. I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know. I think they ran back over my leg or something like. <sighs> I'm just agging. I'm just agging. I just want to get. I want to be here. I'm really sorry that happened to you, but I got mad shit I gotta do, and I'm stuck here with a fucking broken ankle. I'm sorry that happened to you. Can you just stop soaking me, please? That's fine. Can you move? Just some little kids playing in the hallway. So I'm going to, you know, weigh my pros and my cons and get it together. Wait a minute. So you're on vacation right now? Yeah. Why the fuck are you sitting here in New York, Maya? You need a real break. It's because I had some research to do. I have a magazine I'm trying to launch next month. No. You need to pack a bag and get out of here and go <laughs> somewhere for real. Like, get you some peace. Matter of fact, you know Blue is in Miami. Why don't you go see her? That's true. Blue is in Miami. I should check the homie out. Good idea. Man, I wish I could go with you. Come on, let's go. What you waiting on? Dude, I can't. I gotta hold it down at the shop. Mom's working doubles all week, so guess who's about to have to <sighs> You know what you need to do. You need to tighten up. <laughs> Get Mona to, you know, settle down with you so you can have a babysitter. This way we can go. Nah, let me, let me tell you something right now, bro. First of all, Shorty about to get the boot. She not trying to give up the pennies. My patience is gone. I'm dead. I'm about to cancel her like Nino. Like, I can't live like this no, no more. Cameron, you gave her chlamydia. It was an accident. That shit was like a boo-boo. Like, I done did everything ever since. That's not make... a boo-boo. That's not a boo-boo. And three months is not gone. But I've been anyway, a good I'm... nigga for three months. But you know what, Ew. though? My nigga Peyton, 
slick and happy, you're not fucking with Jessica ass no more. I don't know why. There's <laughs> no way she's gonna get back with her anyway. Yo, for real, not for nothing. I'm gonna want that old ass anyway. I'm saying both of y'all niggas that had her. <sighs> it was fun while it lasted. The real shame is that I missed our friendship. I don't feel like I can get that back. It's the truth. It sucks. You're mad gay. Not that gay. Who knows gay? <laughs> <laughs> Check me when you need some. What's up? I do need a favor. What's favor you need now? Top. She got herself in a bomb. Top. Yeah, she um, she need like 50 racks. 50 racks? Why are you asking me something for Ty? What's the part I of the game is that? I told ask around. You know how we, you know how we do it. That's crazy, y'all. I mean, if it was for you, it'll be different. But Ty, all right, so let's just say it to me. I mean, 50 racks is a lot of money, you know, that's a lot, but I think I could make that happen. You sure? I'm sure. Alright. All right, then. So, I'm going to see you later. Wait for me in the back. Alright. Alright, boo. You looking good, though. I ain't going to hold you. Whatever, Whatever poppy. You. Whatever. Whatever. What's up, what's up? Who ready to watch the throne? Make some motherfucking noise, bitch. What y'all wanna see? Y'all wanna see that Tory and Couture? How about that E-Hard and 40 bars? One last time, make some noise for this legendary card. Watch the throw part two, about to get it jumping, man. Let's shake the building one time. referring to me and India, but I don't drink as nearly as much as India, so. Not me. What am I drinking? Do you know what's in this cup? No, you don't. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. This is a new me. I've cut my hair. It's a new rejuvenation. India, nah. You sound drunk right now. No. Rejuvenation. I, I was at your house earlier and you had mad empty bottles on the table. What are you talking right, about? Right. And that was the other day, a, a couple of weeks ago, I was there and it was the same shit. I demand a so recount. I demand a recount. <laughs> Mm -mm. And Stacy, mm -mm. you smoke every day. What's wrong with me having a drink? Every day. The weed is from or the two. Is from the oh, here we go. I've heard that before. This is the plant. This is from Mother Earth. No. Yo, don't don't even start on that. I got your fucking money, all right? 
Yeah, I got the whole 30, I got the whole 35 racks. Alright, so, which, what, you want me to come eat you to come pick that up? Alright, man, just let me know whatever time you want me to uh, meet up with you, but on some other shit, you ain't really have to do that to her neither, like, that shit was mad unnecessary, why the fuck you broke her leg? But you know what? After this, our business is done. So you ain't gotta worry about me no more. I ain't fucking with you no more. And for future references, you better stay away from my bitch, my club, and my crib. Or else we really gonna have a problem. Alright, whatever. It's gonna go by quick. Just keep painting and make some art so that by the summertime we can just put shit. that art out there and we could be on the beach. I don't want to make shit. I don't want to do nothing. I Are you serious? Yeah. This experience to inspire out. you no way, no how. This shit inspired me to look both ways before crossing the street next time. <laughs> My nigga. Because the motherfucker hit me and I didn't even see him coming. I never thought I would get hit by a car. You, you know, sure this is not about Rachel and them? You did Ooh. fuck that bitch up when they kidnapped Ooh. me. Rachel. And Old Spice? That was a long time ago. Who the fuck fucking run you over? Like, I don't know dumb. who the fuck it was, but the nigga hit me and then kind of backed up and like rolled over my ankle like he was trying to make sure I was extra dead or something. That's what I'm like, saying. Like it doesn't, it seems intentional to me. Yeah. It just don't well, seem right. I mean, ultimately, you know, you have us. We'll be here to help you and make sure that you're good. But, yeah, can mm -hmm. I need a couple of things done around here? Oh, you know, right. Right. You're not made, you're not slaves. You know? And that calls for a <laughs> shot. Massage. That calls for a <laughs> shot. A shot of what? A shot of just happiness and joy and love. You see, I'm Which is liquor. Which is liquor. I don't need a chaperone. I don't need a chaperone. <laughs> Wrong, but she may need it. You may need a chaperone, though. You want me to be here? I could be you here. You could be my home yeah. attendant. Please. I could do that. Well, right, you go ahead. Yeah, 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 we got a home attendant because I ain't, that ain't me. You're a bitch. Thanks for helping me today. You know, I do anything for Camille. It's no problem at all. So, I take it we're friends again? I mean, you sent me that Christmas card like I was not going to hear from you anymore. I mean, honestly, that's how I felt at the moment, but I'm past it now, so we good. Well, that's good, because I don't want to leave. Put that over there, too. There's no beef between us at all. I just want you to know I don't want no problem, so we good. All right, I'll take that. All right, good, good. Let me get my ass home and take myself out of here. You have a good night and tell Camille the title was real. Of course. Said I'm tired of playing games, girl. I want you right now. Said I'm tired of playing games, girl, I ain't want you right now You tryna move on when I'm tryna get a best of me Willing to do it all for you, girl, you better best believe Said I'm tired of playing games, girl, I ain't want you Said I'm tired of playing games, girl, I ain't want you Said I'm tired of playing games, girl, I ain't want you Said I'm tired of playing games, girl, I ain't want you what are you doing? I'm gonna sleep in the bed. I'm tired of sleeping on the couch. You agreed to sleep on the couch. Get off of me. Can you stop, please? But stop. You know you love me. You know you miss me. You know it hasn't been that horrible. You've been I'm here. tired. Don't kiss on me. I love you. And I'm not gonna stop. I'm gonna do everything I have to do. Get off of me, No, you look, you're not even fighting me. Stop playing. Stop. All right, that's enough. I'll take it. Don't try to spoon with me either. I'm gonna live just like this. Mm-hmm. All right. 
I know that I messed up on several occasions I see that you're tired, you're tired of waiting Touch your name on my rib, you forever my baby Here's your ovation Talks about what we've been through Talks about it's too difficult Talks about me, your thoughts is cloudy Think you know about me, better keep it cool Trade the best of me for the best of you Don't you know? Hey, hey, don't be a mess to find me. Nice to meet you. Get comfortable, have a seat. I really appreciate you. It's cold out there, girl. Yes, and you're bringing it in with you. I'm sorry. I wasn't the intention when I came. I promise It's okay. It's fine. So, I got excited when April called me to say that we're going to be working with you. Mm-hmm. Big fan of your work. Thank you. Well, you're the marketing expert, so... Try, try. Let's get the ball rolling. You mind? Go for it. So I'm going to show you this, what I got going on so far. All right, so check it out. I played around with the layout. Oh, okay. wow. No, I didn't like the reaction. That's cool. It's cool. <laughs> I was like, since the Lifestyle Magazine, okay. right, I divided the side into sections. Okay. If you look over here, you'll see love, sex, news, and entertainment category. Okay. Right, so like. once you're ready to actually upload all your content, all you got to do is click here. Uh-huh. Type everything, push enter, it's up. Oh, mm -hmm. Daddy. I love it. I absolutely love it. I have a feeling you would. I have a feeling you would. Have you decided on a name yet? I'm still thinking about it, unfortunately. Okay. It's interrupt, but uh, are you two together? Uh, no. <laughs> no? Why? Who does that? Well, a wise man once said, shoot your shot. You're gorgeous. And I had to come over and say something. Ivy. Thank you. Maya. Nice I to know. meet you. Maya Taylor. NYU graduate, mm -hmm. journalist. I've read your entire body of work. I'm a um, fan. Thank you. Um, but we're actually working here, so if you don't mind, you'd like to get back to me? Yeah, I can see you're busy, so I'll just leave you my card. And I'll hear from you soon, right? <laughs> Maybe. All right. Nice to meet you. Bye, Maya. I have never been so rudely <laughs> interrupted and complimented at the same time. That was weird. Nice. Can we get back to work, please? <laughs> I mean, well, for that sake, um, it's actually it for now. Right. right. Um, I just need you to really think about this name that you're going to put. So I'm going to use my for now. I need you to let me That's know what's going on while you're away. Let me know if you need anything. And I'll contact you. Just have a fix up. Right? Thank you so, so much for Thank taking you. the time. Thank you. You have a great day. Stay warm. There's some sickness going around. I'm going to bring the heat right back. <laughs> Get home safe. You too. Thank you. Hey Jessica, it's Maya. Um, I was in the neighborhood, thought I'd swing by, you know, before I leave to Miami. I wanted to see you. I don't think, you know, I could go with us being awkward, so I wanted to make sure things were okay. Give me a call when you get this. Bye. Okay. 
for Brady lunch. Thank you. Well, Snoop's officially gone. Um, I just dropped her off at the shelter until she finds something more permanent. Good. No, it's good. not good, Kelly. We could have kept her in our place. I, I don't understand why you always trying to be kept the same ho. It's like ever since you started working at the center, you're just too late. <laughs> too what? Too giving? You should try it sometime. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I think you've been boring and I would like you to be more spontaneous. I can do that. I just need to be more honest with me. I feel like you've been in the show lately and I don't know what's going on. Is there something you need to tell me? Why do you keep asking me that? Oh. All right. Well, there goes your lunch. I'll, I'll see you later at home, okay? All right. Bye. Hi, girl. What's up? <laughs> What's up? <laughs> That's kind of slow today, right? Yeah, man. I don't have nobody booked. I'm about to get out of here. Yo, remember what I was telling you about you not being my type? Yeah. I lied. Oh, so you're lying now? No, I mean, you just remind me of like the old me. So what? Is that a good or a bad thing? It's a good thing. Cool. I take it. So what up with your little men? Mm, I'd rather not talk about it. We can start talking with some other sex lips if you want. <laughs> That's a good one. No, no, no. Listen. I'm not bullshitting you, right? This is me 25 Baby, yeah, these emotions feel so bittersweet. She can't explain just why she's into me Cause just before this we were enemies She had a man but I was in between Guess I'm a TYG but oldest girl can date She told me she wasn't Hey, 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 Hey Cam, long time no see. Yo, I did not know Shorty was your girl, I'm sorry. As if it would have been okay if it was anyone else's girl? I'm not saying that, I just... Damn. Whatever Cam. And Kelly, it's over. It was cool. Anything unusual happened today? Nah, it was like a perfect day. Good. How was Camille today? She was good. She made me dance and play all <sighs> night. That's why I had to sleep now. I'm sorry, but I really appreciate you looking out for like that. You know, I love that girl. But I have been thinking lately, and I think you're starting to prove yourself. So maybe you deserve a treat. A treat? Like a cookie or some shit? Cameron, don't play dumb. You know what I mean? Great. And you tell me why Camille is there? No, you have something to look forward to. I have to go to the studio. I'll see tonight? you tonight. Yes, tonight. First thing in the morning, I want my treat. I'm serious. Like, for breakfast. Good night, Cameron. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. In the morning. In the morning. Promise? Promise. Watch out. 
like I was doing my clothing line and then like everything was going perfect but then it's it, it's the same thing over and over and as an artist you get tired of it and don't punish yourself by staying in the same situation doing something you don't want to do just because it lines up with your dream you do your own shit <laughs> thank you no worries man <laughs> fucking enjoy this goddamn sun right it's, fucking it's cold in my there. fucking new york you raining rain? slush there was hail the other day i know i was man i saw it on cnn but yeah man, just do your thing man like fuck everyone else and the only thing you want to miss is chico sticks thank you for bringing me these shits because <laughs> it's just yo can't find these shits you can't find regular coffee it's just a fucking mess out here sometimes <laughs> What's up? <laughs> I missed you so much. I missed you too. You know, as much of a bitch as I've been to you, I still love you. You know that. I know. And he was like calling me and blowing my phone up and sending me voicemails. I was just ignoring him. I'm it's... sorry. It's cool. You just made it up to me, right? <laughs> Besides that, um, I kept in touch with you because I knew you and Maya wasn't gonna last. I was <clears throat> looking forward to the day I could make you come again. Remind you of how much you miss Poppy. Oh, just so I could tell you that you're nothing but an attention-seeking bitch. You practically left me for Maya after I provided for you for two years, just two. And then you wait till <laughs> she stopped fucking with you to beg me to fuck you. So I did. And I enjoyed. Are you fucking serious right now? Yo, I told you I was confused when I was with you. And you didn't even try to fix our fucking relationship. You just ran off with another bitch. Not to mention, the bitch was waiting for me at the door when I was moving out. You know what? I fucking hate you. Get the fuck out. Stupid. Are you fucking me? Real. You got the nerve to be fucking mad. Whatever, Peyton. I have fun, though. Leave. Go. Uh, I did Where's Maya? It tastes good though. I just wanna be the one to reach the top before I fall, fall And I just wanna be the one to get it and have it all, oh But I've been on way too long, I've been so gone I am losing myself, I have some pain that ain't hell These wounds ain't good for my health And I've gotta pick myself up and up Just bunch of shit on my shoulders That'll get better as I got older But the world just got colder Heavy like boulders, I'm a loner No one in my corner, no one in my side Sounds like this, I wonder who is gon' ride When the tide gets high And you drowning in pain Look, I ain't doing the same Feels like you dodging the rain The pain's robbing your sink You fall and complain Just the person I was thinking about Hey cousin, listen I just wanted to check on you And see how everything is going in Miami I hope you're okay well, I made it out here safe. I saw blue. And I'm definitely sure <laughs> about how I'm feeling. I just need to figure out if you I'm... You just gotta follow your heart, like, for real. Nobody knows what's gonna be best for you but you. You gotta go with your gut. It just makes the most sense. Like, you're smart. You're talented. Nobody can do anything in this world the way you can. You know, you really just gotta do what's best for you. And no matter what it is, I'm gonna support you either way. 
Seriously, you were the one that like I needed to really hear from. So thank you, thank you for calling me, <laughs> and at the right time. Bring me home a picture too, when you have to too.
I don't want to hear it. See, for the last I didn't need to be recording the things that you were saying right now. Playing them back to just let you hear. Yo, what's that word? Ratchet. 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 Right. Right. This is what I need to do. You know, I'm talking about if that's what you want to do when you're down south. That's what you're going to do when you're here. That's what you do now. What do when you think I'm going around. down south, you just you don't think I know? You don't big. think my ears is to the damn um concrete? I know all about you, child. What you mean you know all about me? Then you should know that I've been in my house and at work and taking care of my daughter for the last three months like a uh -huh. responsible person. For the last three months. It would have been sooner the if you just gave me her. Days. <laughs> You know what? I'm going to be Camille and me. You sound stupid. I okay, sound stupid. first of all, yeah. yes, you do. Okay? Because I've had your child, okay, all the years of her life. Okay? All right, and for the last year, you have had you her for me. three months, and you're telling me what a mother you are. Okay? I'm going to give you mother of the fucking three months that you fucking had, okay? You know what, Mom? Right? I'm but I know milk. one thing. I know what's best for her. All right. And I know where we're going. Good luck finding her after I come get right, her, boy. Well, I swear to God. All right, well, I'll see you in court. Bye, Mom. Get out. Whatever. Get out, Mother. Peace, child. Peace. All right, yo. Come over here aggravating me, Whatever. man. Whatever. my fucking door, dude. Yo, my fucking mom's up. She's out of fucking mind. I don't give a shit what she want to do. I don't give a fuck where I gotta go. Let me find a way right now. My name is Amaira Shanice, and my series is called New York Girls TV. It's a lesbian web series, scripted, um, and it's about a group of friends. It tells their love stories, their career, and, you know, relationship issues. I met you. If any girl here tries to talk to you, she's going to go crazy. She going to go boo -boo? I ain't got time to be worried about nobody's love life but mine, or rather, lack thereof. I didn't think I would do a lesbian series at first, but it was something needed. I, I researched other web series. They had it in Atlanta, they had it in DC, California, but there were none that were New York based. But I had to have that, that grittiness, that, that rawness that is New York. And even with females, there's still that edginess to it. So I had to show that. And I think that's one thing that separates my series from other lesbian series, because it's not so cliche. It's, it's real. I raised this child for the last seven years. You think you can come in here and destroy everything I've built? I don't have to deal with this. I'm going to continue and enjoy my day, and you have fun with your little friend. Give you the uh, <laughs> chance to get to know me. Brooklyn is the best place to do this. We, we see a lot of filming in Manhattan, but Brooklyn is up and coming. It's always been up and coming, and there's a lot of filming that's taken place in Brooklyn over the years, and I think just recently people are, are realizing it's a gem. So casting wise, I did a lot of social media, reached out to people directly. Um, I used to hashtag Brooklyn lesbian, New York actor, um, NYC actors, and you know, looked at faces that I thought would fit the character. And only person who actually took my DM series was the one who plays Maya, uh, Boop. 
So she responded immediately. Um, Craigslist, I post ads there. I had a lot of trial and error, you know, basis. I interviewed a lot of people, but eventually I found my people. It took off very slowly. We actually, last June 2015, we only had 500 subscribers. By August, we had hit 23,000. And that was, you know, after I put out the second season. So I think once people saw the consistency and knew they could continue to watch it, that's when the views picked up. Yeah, a lot of people from the LGBT community have come to me and thanked me for, you know, putting this out there because it's something they haven't seen. And especially, again, showing that New York point of view, that grittiness, the realness, and not that Hollywood portrayal of, you know, our lifestyle. So, yeah, fans thank me all the time. We care about each other. And we have mad chemistry. I don't understand why you keep trying to fight it. Yeah, we do have chemistry, Jessica, but we know what this is about. We had an agreement. It took me a, a, a minute to find my niche and know that screenwriting is really what I wanted to do. I used to write scripts when I was younger. I started writing a book. It's an erotic thriller. And people responded well to it. And that's kind of how I got the idea to start New York Girls. A friend of mine read it and she was like, you should do a, a TV show. So what sets me apart um, from other writers and lesbian series is the fact that I incorporate all types of topics. Uh, we speak about not only lesbian issues and sexuality, like those cliche topics, like uh, career. I show people, you know, struggling to find find their path in life and what it is they want to do. My overall goal is for the series to be picked up and be, you know, shown on a larger platform. I would tell someone coming out of high school who would like to get into the industry to follow their heart. If you know that's what you want to do, don't second guess it. Never question yourself and just go out there, do it, put yourself in an environment where you can learn and grow and, you know, hone your niche. What gives me the energy is, is my passion. Like I said before, it's something I've always, as, even as a little girl, I used to watch a movie and act it out with my, my dolls. And writing was always my way to escape. And now that I'm actually in the process of doing what I love, like I, I left my job to do this, you know. It's, it's, it's just that passion. Like I wake up every day thinking about New York girls. My eyes are about the water now because, you know, it's, I've never felt so passionate about anything I've done. But now just to have my team and everyone behind me, that drives me.